Hi, Super Serious here, back with another answer and mention Jingy Minus 4 video, episode 18. And it's been a day, oh, two days, um, actually maybe three days since last episode. <laughs> yeah. And I have 3.9 CE3 Galaxy points, which is way more than enough to get both of these upgrades easily. Like, you can see this is already up to 0.55 times. And I'm just gonna get it. So, this is... Yeah, it's squaring the tick speed multiplier on the time dimensions. Not only that, each bot time dimension boots to normal dimensions by the product of x over 6. So it's going to be a pretty substantial normal dimension boost. Not only that, the bug with the automated galaxies got fixed. I had to just reload, even though I thought I already did that. So I'm definitely going to get this down like to one second per galaxy. And now, I think what I'm just going to do, I'm going to turn off the Automatic Galactic Sacrifice Auto Buyer. And you can see, with all these galaxy upgrades, I should really be able to get, like, quite far. So, you can see, already three galaxies. I think I can get t six tick speed boosts. And, I, yeah, I'm max buying the Dimension Boost and tick speed Boost. So, this is allowing much faster. You can already see them up to E... Like, almost, okay, not quite E75, but you can just see how, how much I'm reaching. I I could even tick speed boost, even though it's resetting everything. Actually, no, the reason why it's so slow is because I'm not even time dimension shifting. I, 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 need, I need to be time dimension shifting um, if I really want to progress. It says 9, 10, I think I can get all the way up to 11 here. And then all I need is E85 antimatter to get a fourth galaxy. That's a fourth galaxy already. That, that's crazy. Not only that, um, I think once I get a fourth galaxy, I could possibly be able to reach 99 eighth dimensions and get this achievement. The eighth dimensions are 10% stronger and, you're, um, and you gain more galaxy points based on your eighth dimensions and the six speed boosts. I mean, actually a problem with the auto buyers is that it's buying the dimension boost before the galaxy. So, yeah, that, that definitely needs to um, be fixed. Um, yeah, and then, yeah, sacrifice there. And come on, we're, we're almost there. We just need E85. And here you, here you go. Fourth Galaxy. This is where things start going crazy. I'm already up to five tick speed boosts. Once I start getting time dimension shifts, I think eight. Um, no, I can go all the way up to 11 now. Um, also, I can go all the way up to 11 tick speed boosts without um, resetting everything else. So, yeah, you can just see you can just see uh, how easy it is to to reach like 88th dimensions at this point. Now, getting more than 88th dimensions still will prove to be a bit of a challenge. Like that that that's the one problem because um, yeah, you can just see I need E95 antimatter if I want to get 98th dimensions and this is definitely achievable but it's just gonna take a while I mean this I mean 98th dimensions isn't gonna be all that bad but 108th dimensions is gonna be another story and that that's where I get the achievement that this is what I'm trying to go for the have exactly 99 8th dimensions there's really not any other achievements I could get at this point other than spreading cancer which does nothing because it has no reward I probably, no, I can't even do anti-challenge because even though I've completed all these challenges, you see there's a one here that isn't even showing. Anyway, here is 98th dimensions, which means I think the next thing to go for is just one more time dimension boost. And then comes the push to 108th dimensions. You can Also, you can see this bar, which is percentage to infinity, it's getting pretty far. It's at like 57%, and at the point where I have 100 8th dimensions, it's going to probably be at somewhere like 65%. So, yeah, that, that, means, that means I'm actually getting pretty close. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not quite there yet. I, um, I mean, people are talking about uh, Challenge 7 exploit because you can see the multiplier per 10 dimensions is random for each per 10 purchase, varying from 0 0.3 times to 10 times. I'm only going to do this exploit if it gets, like, brutally slow. 
pre-infinity. Now, or, okay, um, you may not know what infinity is, but it's coming up. And post, like, one, after I unlock that mechanic, um, I, I, I'll, I'll freely use the exploit. I, I, the challenge three one's, I think, really cheaty, though, so I'm not gonna do the challenge three one, but at least pre-infinity, I'm, I'm just not gonna, I'm not gonna do it that way. And you can just see, I'm at E99 antimatter, and this is where, um, I, I need to get to all the way, I need, I need to get all the way to EA5, which is, like, it may seem close until you realize it's E9, I'm at E9A. I need to get all the way to EA5, so this is gonna take a while, and I, I definitely wanna, yeah, I, I, I wanna turn this off. And while I could do tick speed boosts, I mean, if I was going on a longer run, it might be beneficial, but I don't really want to reset all my dimension boosts. I, I, I'm, I'm debating it. I, I don't think it's worth it. So, yeah, seen a bit. Okay, so it's been about 20 minutes, and I now have enough antimatter so that I can finally get the achievement for having 99 8th dimensions. You can see, I think I was at like 800 before. Now I'm at A, E2, which is, I think that's somewhere around, that's like, th not not quite 3,000, but like 26, 2700 galaxy points, which is really good. That's definitely going to bring me, yeah, it's going to get me a lot of galaxy points, and I just want to see what a run is going to be like. I could, you know, go 100 8th dimensions, but it'll, it'll take a while to, you know, get back to where I am, so I'm just going to... Yeah, I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go Galactic Sacrifice here, and yeah, it's just gonna give me a lot. This achievement is, is a pretty amazing achievement. So, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna turn this auto buyer back on, and just see how far I can get with, because now I have significantly more, maybe, not, maybe it's not all that significant, but it's more galaxy points. And especially if I try tick speed boosting at the right time, I could easily get like really far maybe i could even get to five galaxies if i just wait a day like that's what i'm thinking five galaxies could be like an actually possible thing even though the galaxies don't do much maybe i could just do a run like this where i try to um get to like 80 or not 70 eighth dimensions and that gives me an average of 700 galaxy points per minute. So actually, instead of do instead of trying to get as far as I can, I'm gonna, um, yeah, I'm just gonna um, do a bunch of stuff here. Uh, with the time dimension boost, it's I just don't want it to reset my regular dimension boosts. Um, I think yeah, galaxies required is two max eight use on reset. I think I just don't want like I can get. All the way up to 12 so um, that means I just don't I don't um, the max eighth dimensions is probably 18 if I wanted to do it like this so yeah eight no not eight 18 and then probably get a couple of levels of this same with um, dimension boosts and galaxies and then maybe just maybe maybe try to get a couple more levels on some of these auto buyers to get everything that is 16 or less um, galaxy points. So you can see this is now doing bulk purchasing, which means instead of just doing like one purchase, it it makes like two um, for a two times bulk purchase. So that, that that's what that means. So I'm just getting everything that's 16 or less. Oh, that was 32, but it was the eighth dimension auto buyer, which is pretty important. Probably want to even get this. Um, maybe get another one. And tick speed, definitely want to get that. I'm going to do maybe 32. Automatic tick speed boosts. I'm probably just going to want three here. And then max eighth use on reset, probably 60. And then turn this on. I also want to probably upgrade these intervals. Like this at least a couple times. Sacrifice, probably down to like one second like this. Tick speed boosts, probably also down to one second. I'll even get this. And let's just let's see what the runs. This is what the runs will look like. Um, I definitely want to 
increase the speed of the eighth dimension. That's still too slow. And probably even now it's still too slow. You can see how the eighth dimension is auto buying everything. It's also doing this for time dimensions. So you can just see how um, how slow that that whole process is, unfortunately. And then also I want to see how many, how many, I think I, I, I want to get up to 70 um, eighth dimensions here. And I, actually what's happening is that it's auto buying time dimension boosts before regular um, dimension boost, and that's a problem. Yeah, I unfortunately I think I just keep wanting to, or not just keep wanting to. I want I, I have to get these. That the second one was especially was pretty expensive, but I think this is just the best option. And um, um I how did it just get that tick speed boost? This is really weird. I I have no idea what it's auto buying, but it's obviously not auto buying the right things considering it's just resetting everything. Well, maybe I should get some stuff that costs like less than 40 galaxy points because obviously it's too slow. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get these. Um, may want to get this down to 0.1 seconds, and maybe yeah. Now I feel like it. Now it seems a little faster, and I think what I want to do is um, this is definitely too too much. Um, Okay, and, and it's going to go through an entire run. Let's see how it does it. So, one galaxy. Um, here comes the second galaxy. And then it's going to be pretty similar for a third galaxy, I think. It may do a random tick speed boost. Yeah, it did do a random tick speed boost. It's buying one at a time, which is not good. Especially the galaxies required to tick speed, uh, to tick speed boost is three and it's still not and still doing it at two which makes no sense um so yeah just everything's getting reset here but finally i have the third galaxy Let, i'm just seeing what i can get with the galaxy points per minute so all i want is three galaxies i don't want any more than that because i don't really need any more and i think what i also want is, is i want to get the um oh i i, I see what's what's causing the runs to be so slow. I need faster auto time to engine boost. I'll even get this last one because yeah, now now it's quite a bit quicker to just get the time dimension shifts and time dimension boosts. Actually, it's not because the dimension auto buyers are just still too slow. So yes, I'm gonna keep buying these. I maybe, I think as long as I stay above two E3 galaxy points, I think I'm good. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm probably going to get actually everything just down to where I get bulk purchase and actually get an achievement from that. Max out any of the nine auto buyers intervals. It has no reward, so yeah. So I think it's now around here where I, yeah, it's, it's, it was right there. That's, I don't need that 70th, uh, I don't need that next tick speed boost that just resets everything. Like that just, that just slows things down rather than speeds them up, but and again, it's doing this, I think it's another tick speed boost, or at least no, it was doing a time dimension boost there. So, I, it's definitely not 576. Let's just do 500. And that should give me like 300 galaxy points per minute. That's what I think the best strategy here is. Um, and I don't need this to be any faster considering how slow it is with everything else. I also get one more of this. Um, I don't think I need any faster tick speed boost. Honestly, just buy everything less than 100 galaxy points. Um, even maybe get like this bulk purchase. These two bulk purchases here will definitely help things. So you can just, you can see it's, it's almost like as if I'm pressing M, but just not quite. So yeah, you can just... See, let, let's let's see if it actually does a complete run, and you can just you can see how dumb it is because it's buying time dimension boosts that reset everything. So this is definitely not optimal, but it's much better than what I had before. Also, this peak is 480 galaxy points per minute, so I could try a different um, galaxy point per minute thing. You can see that's 444. I, th I think I just want. If I get, yes, 
um, one more of these, which, yeah, th I think, yeah, that was a galactic sacrifice. So that's probably, I'm, I'm not, I had no idea how long that took because it doesn't, t doesn't tell you here, but it's, I mean, it can, it can tell you here like this, but it doesn't, there's, um, with other prestige layers and other internet dimensions mods, it will tell you, like, ever, like, how long the run took and just, like, what your, um, essentially will be the equivalent of galaxy points per minute. So, yeah, it looks like I'm getting about 400 galaxy points per minute, which is much better than the, I, I have no idea, I think it was, like, 30, a little more than 30. Or maybe, actually, I think it was just, like, 9 per minute, but it, the thing is, that it's, like, 540 per hour, and that can really add up, so... Yeah, essentially multiply galaxy point production by like 40 times, which is going to be huge. That means I'll be able to reach like E, almost E5 galaxy points, which is not enough to reach any of these upgrades, but it's enough to definitely like significantly buff like everything here. And then also it'll be enough to really start um, purchasing tons of these auto buyer stuff. Like, to the point where I don't really need to upgrade it anymore. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Mm -hmm.